Hi everybody. I'm over here at section D or E, E and F. It's closed off because they put in all new power. It looks like new water spigots too. This is the area we usually like to camp in. Not right here, but up ahead. It's closed because the ground's soft and they can't get in here to do a lot of work with the rain we've been having. Most of the sites in here are pretty good. He said this is our favorite section. Knock it off, big dog. Come on. Poor guy, he wants to pee on every bush. Yeah, new power poles look nice. It's actually a really big section. And you know, each you know, as you can see, each of the sites are kind of each secluded. I mean, it's not really stacking back out here because there's too many trees. Oh heck, that's a shiny new fire pit there. And there, huh? That's good. They're just getting this all really set up good. And these sites are nice here because they back up to the woodland. Oh, come on, silly dog. That looks like a Got new fire pits on all the sites. And looks of it, it looks like they're almost ready to open these things. And it looks like they got gravel in. I will say a lot of the sites, especially on this side, do slope to the rear a little bit. Not bad, but they're still usable. The ones kind of in the center are pretty flat. Oh yeah, they still got work to do over here, it looks like. Yeah, brand new water spigots, power boxes. We will get to a power box and I will open it up and see what they got inside it. Walking the dog, what a pain. And these here are pull throughs. These are pretty nice spots. I think this one here, this is the most popular one, almost always is taken. Pretty good size pull through. Looks like it needs some cleanup for sure out here. And a couple of these on this side are short, um, so they're not good for a long vehicle. Kind of like this uh, little back end right here. I have camped here when I had the tent tree or the tent, the trailer, not tent trailer. Um, I did back it in here once. I've camped in this site in the motorhome. It's not bad. Matter of fact, they actually got two power units here. Yeah, I can see their problems with the ground. They've only got some work to do. All right, let's see if I can open this. Have a look see. Oh yeah, got powers on. 30 and 50 amp. That's nice. Last time I was here, this power box was actually up here and it didn't work. But there was another one back there that I could run my cord to, which was kind of nice. Let's see. Oh, well, it's a nice little agate right there. Darn it, I got room in my pocket. <laughs> Some of the mud off of it. You don't usually see that kind of stuff laying around. 
um, down below in the valley, there's lots of agates. But you don't see them very often up here. No, oh, I took a tree down there. Must have been in pretty bad shape. Yeah, once they open this up, that whole pile of branches will be gone. People, people will burn them. And you can see there's another area on the other side over there. That I actually didn't go through on the bike. I think they have it closed off just seasonally. Most of the time, um, this area is open year-round. And I'm sure once they've finished what they're doing out here, they'll open it back up. go down to the dog park I'm gonna let the big boy go it's a pretty good sized dog park all fenced in even better there's nobody here right now there's not a lot of people in this campground right now either for that matter this is late Sunday so the weekenders are all gone pretty much just you know, people stay in extended periods here now. Oh, big dog, he knows where we are. Hey. Alright, buddy. Give me this. Go. Just not a bad little run area. Looks like they need some mowing, but pretty good sized. He likes it. He likes anywhere there's grass. Didn't get to see a lot of the grass in the desert. Beautiful day. You can actually kind of see Mount St. Helens through the trees back there. You know, like I said, this is for a dog run area. This is pretty good. It looks like a section of fence back there that's down a little bit, but nobody's crawling through the blackberries, not even the dogs. And there is a trail that goes down over there that you can hike all the way around the park. He's got to go out there and he's got to sniff every spot. Maybe another dog went to the bathroom in. Having fun. I'll get back to you once we're back in the, up in the areas. All right, yeah, you can see some of these still need some work. Looks like they just dumped the gravel, haven't really worked it yet. These sites along here aren't bad. Like I say, they do slope to the rear of the site. Some more than others. Looks like that one could use a new fire pit. Yeah, but it's nice to see the upgrades, even if the area is not open yet. The last time we were here, oh, six months ago or so, they just started this project. So they had ditches dug everywhere so they could run their lines. And it's nice to see now that they're on the other end of that scale. Just finishing them off.
definitely a nice place to walk. Um, whether you want to walk trails or just walk the roads through the park. Pretty nice. And there are small game trails all over out in these woods. There's it down below on the bottom of the hills, the trail that goes around the park, which there are trails from each campsite going that way. Yeah, it looks like they just haven't raked out all the gravel good and finished what they wanted to finish. It doesn't look like it's far off. Um, they're saying the end of May right now, so another month. Which works for me. I'll be back in about a month and a half, I think. We did camp in one of these sites oh, a long time ago when we had the trailer. I liked it because all these trees, I can hang my hammock. It was kind of a bonus for that. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot of work. They're just waiting for the ground to get more solid so they're not getting their vehicles stuck when they're trying to do this work. And there's one of the old power poles. And another thing is they don't have a any site stickers on the poles yet either so there's no site numbers imagine that's on their list of things to do but as you can see these sites here they're just back up to the wood and these aren't tor terribly uh, unlevel they're not bad at all some areas like sea loop Almost all of those slope to the rear and a couple of them really bad. You just got to really block up your vehicle on one end. But yeah, that, and that's a quick look at E-Loop. Looks like it'll be open soon. Dog's pulling me around. <laughs> 